Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to start the third section of the Flutter Basic Crash Course for Absolute Beginners. As in the previous videos, those who are following this crash course, they know that we divided our code into three sections. So basically, we divided the course in a way that we first cover the basics, try to know the logic, structure, how our application works, how the Flutter basically works, how to install the Flutter. After that, we try to design. Uh, anything in the flutter as you can see that it's a bit long section because now we can design anything but now in third section we are going to cover the basics how user is going to interact with our application so this is what stateful widgets do so today's tutorial has been divided into two major sections first one is going to be a theoretical part and then we are going to perform a practical of stateful widgets so basically the first thing is what is stateful widgets stateful widgets are the widgets that let the user to or allow the user to interact with the application because stateless widgets are the static widgets which cannot change their state uh, when the application is running but stateful widgets on the other hand allow the user to interact with the application it could be text fields it could be check boxes it could be radio buttons by performing some action so these are the stateful widgets basically whenever user is interacting with the screen and something is changing on the screen that's what we call stateful widgets so to understand stateful widgets let's see the difference between stateless and stateful widgets Stateless widgets are the widgets that don't allow user to interact with the application. They will draw on the screen when the application launches, and even after user interactivity, they are not letting the user to change the state or the design of the screen. So whereas uh, on the screen you can see that we have one single class in the stateless widgets. That class extends with the stateless widget and returns a build method. Basically this build method is the method that you need to focus on. This build method draws the design on the screen. So whenever we able to call this build method and pass any change design in this build method will be drawn on the screen. So in the stateful widgets, basically what has happened is we have two classes. The one class is similar to the stateless class. It extends itself with a stateful widget and it has a single object which overwrite but it's not going to override the build method this time. It is going to hire a middleman uh, we will assign that middleman a task that please do the, this redesigning or calling this build widget for us so we can change the design whenever we want. So the second class is basically going to inherit the build widget. The first class is basically going to inherit the state class, the state object instead of inheriting or overriding the build method. This is basically the difference means that we are going to hire a middleman. This middleman is now going to redraw every time when user is going to interact with the application and redraw the furnished state. So now let's get started with the coding. Open Android Studio and in here you can see that I have an empty main.dart. So let's start from the scratch. We first have to import the material.dart package. And then before running anything, if you're new, please watch the video link is in the description or from the right top corner. You know that we have to call this main function and using a lambda statement, we are going to call run app. And just a recall, I told you that this is the property in which we want to enter and inside we have to open this door which is the run app to basically run our application. So for example, I am going to name it coding with the stateless class. Now to create this stateless class, just press STLES, hit enter and you can see it has created a stateless widget for us. Give this a name and it is not going to return the container but a material app as you guys remember from the past from the first tutorial okay in the stateless widget i have created a material application as a home i pass a scaffold name the app bar and now in the body i'm going to call the stateful widget basically not the status widget so for that i will create so to create this stateful class you can see not I am not inside the stateless class but next to stateless class we have stful name this the same this error has been gone now in here the thing that I was talking about that you can see we have a class called stateless widget so this class is basically overriding this function which is returning a build function which is returning a widget so in here you can again see the same thing this is a class 
extend with a stateful widget like this one this is a constructor and this is not overriding this build method this is basically creating a middleman which is going to rewrite this build method again and again for us so we create this middleman create state and we assign a task to it that is go to this class the second class and redraw it whenever we want so this is the class like the one in the status widget this is a class which simply overrides this build method so this build method is going to draw the design on the screen so we created a middleman that is going to draw that again and again for us so in so far in flutter we are going to call it as a state or the state management okay now it is as you can see it's simply returning a widget so in here we are not going to do anything for this we just created a middleman close this class now in this class we are going to create our design so for the design i am just creating a list view for the scrolling effect as a children let's create a list style and in the list style let's add title and then add a trailing icon that we want to change if user is going to like this so you see that i created a simple tile title is this and the icon is a simple icon so we want to switch this icon basically whenever user is going to click on this so to make it clickable we need icon button so we will wrap this widget by pressing control enter and name it icon icon button and it's not child it has a icon property and then we need to write override this on press method so let's make it null for now because we want to override this on press whenever a user is going to press this icon button we want to change this icon so press ctrl alt l to align the code add a semicolon here press again ctrl alt l to align and now you can see we created a simple icon button whenever user is going to click on this icon button we want to perform this on press and change this icon so how we can do that again close this class inside the second class remember i'm going to create a boolean type variable and by default i set it to false now whenever is user is going to click on this button in the on press what i have to do is i have to call this middleman which is this create state i have to call this middleman and i have to ask it that please update the state this is a set state method now inside this set state method i am going to change like is equal to either you can set it to true and if you want to switch it again and again so i will make it opposite of liked which means that if it's false make it true and if it's true make it false right so as it's a single line function so we can use a lambda operation as we talked about the lambda in our first tutorial so i am going to remove that curly brackets and add fat arrows and that's it so now we call this set state which is going to basically change this light operation and it is going to again redraw this but on the basis of this like button if it's true we want to change this icon if it's false then also we want to change this icon so to do that next to this icon column we have a single line if else light question mark this means that if this is true question mark means if this like is true as it is a boolean let's just add brackets this means that if this is true then use this one this icon right colon if it's not true create another icon then use this icon so if like is true then it is going to use this one so we are going to use the filled favorite here this one and if it is not true then whatever is written next you have to perform this right so we write our code now let's try to run the application okay now as you can see our application is running and uh, we have an app bar on the top and then we have a simple list style now when the i am going to click on this icon you can see nothing is being changed icon is not switching its position why because 
in here you you have to hover over this set state and you can see the declaration set state isn't referenced so basically we use this in a wrong way so we i can simply remove this error by putting brackets around it and add semicolon at the end remove it from here and you can see error has been gone so to understand this let me just remove this and write again so you have to call set state this is a function so this is how you call set state now inside this we have to call these brackets and again a function like this in here we can pass something but we are not going to do this now but as a function you can see i've created this as a function inside the set state so as we have to write a single line which is opposite of light that's it so as this is a single line i'm going to remove this and use fat arrows remove this as well and this is a single line so i'm going to put it like this so now when i'm going to save this let's run it again and now I'm going to click on this and you can see it's switching its state when I'm going to click on this. So basically this is what a stateful widgets are. This is how we call the stateful widgets. So in the recap, you see we created a simple variable which is going to record the state and when the user is going to press this or when the user want to, wants to interact with the application and on the press of the user's button, we change this state to not light or maybe the opposite of light and when this performs this set state performs this is going to basically redraw the whole widget and also for the flow you should remember that this is the first function that is going to be rendered when this is for example light so this is the light and we have this on pressed user is going to click on this button it is going to execute this and change this like to not like to not light. So when it is uh, its state has been changed and the set state is going to redraw this whole widget again and the value has been set to not light and when it, is, when it is going to render and reach to this if it will found that it's not true it's false so it is going to draw this not light or the second property. I hope you learned something new and uh, that's it for this tutorial if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about the latest videos thank you for watching take care allah Hafiz.